welcome back and yes the videos always seem to open with going for a drive uh, <clears throat> and yeah no we're no no medical procedures in the foreseeable future right now just doing our due diligence uh, Jeremy came out this morning took a look at the uh, area for concreting so trying to get a game plan going forward going to take a look at the creatures the reprobates oh wow they got the field done yeah uh, they're calling for a chance of rain coming up sometime soon so they'll be wanting to get into the next field pretty dang quick so uh, two red ones old one and a newer one girls are looking good Some standing, some laying. Keep going on the tour. So in case you didn't get enough during hanging season, here's just a little trip down memory lane with old squeaky. So what are we doing, Piper Doug? Cause I have no trailer. Well, what we're doing is uh, we're grabbing a couple of bales that didn't wrap perfectly and we're starting to feed those. I think I've covered this already, but I don't know what happened. Uh, I noticed the old girls, the golden girls, stopped eating their hay bale. They're doing a lot more foraging, which is not a bad thing, but I don't want the old girls to be doing too much of that. Um, so I was in that pen because I see one of our little babies, there's two little babies, there's an orphan and then there's, excuse me, uh, there's an orphan and then there's Mark's mum, uh, she has a little calf. So somehow that little one could pop through into the main paddock next door. And I didn't seem overly uh, upset about it, but mum was kind of hanging around so I went and walked the baby out. So then I went and checked on the hay bale because sometimes you kind of get just get a gut feeling and know all you cattle farmers will know what I'm talking about, as we say. Um, pardon me. So I went and checked the bale out and for some reason, there's a ring of thistle. The bale's about half eaten. Actually, it was a small bale. It was a finished bale from uh, when I went back up to bale straw. Uh, just make sure there's no bale in front of me so I don't run over one. Um, so yeah, for whatever reason, I don't know where. Because that would be down in the south field. So where would I pick up thistle? Oh. Uh, I know what it is. I cut around that dang slough and I bailed my way out. That's what it'll be. Yeah. Thank you. You guys are the best. Yeah, you got you got me the answer. So I'm bringing them one of the uh, second cut primal alfalfa because these old girls starting to get cold. They need the uh, extra energy. Yeah, there's a couple of cows up in this end. Um, so yeah I'm gonna drop one of these in and take that bale and kind of just chuck it out uh, out of the way and then uh, we'll get back to uh, normal politics spreading yeah I was right it was all that slew like buckthorn and there's grass in there but there's so much uh, that short buckthorn scrub and then some there was a ring of thistle so I must have went through a thistle patch didn't realize it so yeah they're they're absolutely tying into the so before I leave the paddock I was going to show you this so over there is where the tree went through the roof over Liam's bedroom 
And that's where the second last storm. Hey, Marksman. Oh, sorry, sweet I'm in your way. Um, yeah, you better keep a bell on that cab of yours. Um, so yeah, we already had a claim on the house for the house and the garage to be totally re-shingled. Uh, oh wow, you're right in there. Um, so thankfully they hadn't started re-shingling it again because uh, it really needs re-shingled now. Old Mark. See, she's got a small cab. She's still making milk, which is good. So come New Year when we pull the calves off, because we'll wean the big herd and then after New Year, we don't need to rush this, uh, but we'll pull the calves off of these, the old the golden girls here. Uh, and then most of them will head away. But Mark's mom there, um, we'll probably leave her with her calf for a little while longer, just like uh, Squeaks and uh, Eddie. Because the babies are too small. Because they're late summer births. Anyway, I'm gonna go and fire up the uh, politics. Can't believe I've never done an epic cold start. Let's see if I can do this. This is hard to do. Contact. put this job off long enough we're gonna pull them out dig them out whatever we can so gotta find them wherever they are there we go get at it oh I am not I am not too proud to admit that was a whole lot of adult temper tantrums. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you think it's futile? Why would I dig out the old post just knocking new ones? Well, I wanted, I needed to keep the fence as close to in line with the old one as possible and obviously how well that turned out. But it's close enough for me. There's a couple of steers back and forward, but for the most part, they're where they need to be and they're roughly on eight foot center, so. Uh, yeah, this is all thanks to two bulls. Lamar, it's not really his fault, but Max, who's now already hamburger, he would go along here and just lean into the fence and just snap the post as he would go, because he was rather big. There is a, there's a post over there that's to be replaced at some point and then there's still one at the end, but I need to get the wall up. So, yeah, I had to dig down to get the to get enough uh, grip on the post to pull the chain. I tried the big screw lag bolts, just pulled them right up out of the posts. So that was a couple hours of my life I'll never get back. Isn't that right, Jesse? Jesse is the one who I had to give a little slap because uh, after you put Eddie and Squeaks in here with their babies, Jesse was drinking from Eddie. Which is weird, considering she's in cab. Very weird. Yeah, you're weird, Jesse. You're weird. Candy? You're not candy. Same family, but you're not candy. There's a duchess right there. No, right. Yeah, you nutter. Anyway, go back to poop spreading. Need a load of shale there. And then the gate. Projects. And then we need a load of shale and a load of rock. A little bit of a hole. And then uh, these two pens, we don't need a whole lot done, but. Yeah, we're making a dent. Well, <clears throat> to 
Tomorrow is supposed to be moving the herd. Tomorrow is supposed to be moving the herd north day. But I think we're going to move them head, move them north a day ahead. Uh, I went, took my drive around the south of the section uh, on the way over to town, and there was two of the little calves had sneaked through the fence. So I just don't want them to start getting into that habit, and some of the bigger ones getting out. So, and plus it's starting to get down. The grass is starting to get down down there, and uh, it's not like they don't have plenty up here. So I just got a little bit of groundwork to do at this gate. And then I'll go fetch Mrs. Piper Doug. She likes to always come help move. And then, uh, then we'll uh, bring you back. So yeah, see you. Oh, pile. Right there. So I'm gonna level that out. And then we'll get at her. Yeah, I know. Uh, everything needs washed. folks down to the last pen so we'll start that tomorrow uh, I'll get some of it done anyway at least I can get these guys these bulls moved into this corral get them set up with a bale and some bedding and then get set up for there for the final hoorah Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. It's, uh, it's also the day before me and Mrs. Piper Doug's anniversary. So happy 24th anniversary to uh, my lovely wife, my best friend, and uh, my partner in crime, who without her, none of this would be possible. So, I am gonna sign off, because it is shutting down time. Um, and uh, yeah, we hope to see you in the next one. And yes, there will be more poop spreading, but we're at, oh, we're over 150 loads so far. But uh, we're on the final run, so thankfully. Whew getting colder in the night so thanks everybody hope you uh come back next time teddy bye